The Latinx community's contributions to this country have been immeasurable. And with one in four Americans being Latinx by 2050, we're essential not only to its present, but to its future. That's what drives our work at the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. By supporting education and creating opportunities, preparing our workforce, impacting our communities and spurring social justice, and collaborating with partners and policymakers to ensure our voices are heard from the border to Capitol Hill, we're making a value proposition to the United States. We believe in our community and our community leads us. And our Latinx culture with all its beautiful complexities is an American culture. Because we are America. We always have been, we always will be. Hola, bienvenidos. My name is Julian Mercado, and welcome to the 23rd Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards. I had the honor to receive the hashtag MeVos Award at the Hispanic Heritage Awards, and I'm so excited to join the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. It sponsors and all of you to celebrate the new class of outstanding young Latinx leaders who are making an impact in their communities and excelling in their academics. It's part of the HHF's year-around mission to inspire, prepare, and position Latinx leaders in the classroom, community, and workforce to meet America's priorities. So to learn more about HHF, please visit www.hispanicheritage.org and follow on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and tag us using the hashtag, hashtag YA23. Tonight, you'll get to meet our amazing bronze, silver, and gold recipients from all 10 award categories. Each of these students was selected by a panel of judges from nearly, wait for it, 30,000 applications from all over the US, DC, and their territories. Their selection means that they will receive a grant to help them further their education, help fund a community-based project, or even launch a small business. It also means that they are invited to join HHF's Lost Leadership Institute, a collective of Latinx youth focused on leadership, workforce, community, social impact, and culture. Lost Institute fellows are connected with current and past youth awardees, sponsors, and other members of the HHF's professional network to build invaluable social and professional capital and prepare them for success. And finally, all of tonight's recipients are in the running to receive a National Youth Award. That's pretty awesome. So now, let's get this party started. Tonight we celebrate recipients from the Orange Region, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. And now to tell us more about the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and its year-around mission, please welcome HHF's President and CEO, Antonio Tijerino. Bienvenidos and welcome to the 23rd Regional Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards and congratulations. Up to 30,000 students applied for the Youth Awards this year from all 50 states plus Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. and you are among 300 selected this year. Felicidades. It's a privilege to welcome you to the celebration but also to make a call to action for our community and our nation's best hope, all of you. The Latinx community leads us and we need you all to lead the Latinx community. The past two years have tested the entire world with unprecedented challenges, but as Latinos, our collective resilience, faith, strength of community, and hope have gotten us through many obstacles. At the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, we had to quickly adapt our approach to making social change in order to not only continue to serve our community, but to actually increase its impact. We've been able to expand our national reach beyond anything we ever dreamed of in the United States, but also in Latin America and the Caribbean. As examples, we're introducing and teaching 100,000 students how to code through our Code as a Second Language program. Our virtual Charla series focused on listening to our community and facilitating important conversations in our community. Our Hacking a Career and other workforce development programs provide not only skills and networking opportunities, but also placement into internships and full-time positions with Fortune 500 companies like the sponsors that are supporting us here tonight. 
We work with immigrants from their journeys from home countries to our borders to our communities. We also fight racism, homophobia, sexism, religious hate, and all forms of bigotry. We promote fairness, equity, and opportunity for our community and beyond in solidarity with other communities. And our annual Hispanic Heritage Awards television program on PBS brought compelling stories of Latino leaders and trailblazers to millions of homes to remind America that Latino stories are American stories. And your stories are American stories. America needs your leadership. Our role is to support you, to maximize your impact. So as Jillian mentioned, all of you will be invited to join the Loft Network or Latinos on Fast Track to connect with resources, opportunities, and 23 years worth of past applicants and youth awardees like all of you. Through Loft, we stay connected with you through your college and into your careers. Visit hispanicheritage.org to see how you can get involved, but also to give us guidance as we continue to adapt our mission to the needs and vision of our community. Currently, we have five past youth awardees as board members, and our chair, Emmanuel Pleitas, is a past youth awardee from 2001, which means we mean it when we say we're gonna stay in touch and we need your guidance. We are counting on all of you to be leaders of today, not tomorrow. We can't afford to wait. So congratulations to all of you as recipients and felicidades to your families, teachers, mentors, friends who share in this great honor tonight. Welcome to the Hispanic Heritage Foundation Familia. To present our first category, Business and Entrepreneurship, please welcome Senior Vice President of External Engagement for Wells Fargo, Ruben Barales. Hello, my name is Ruben Barales. I'm Senior Vice President for External Engagement at Wells Fargo. And I'm so proud that Wells Fargo is the sponsor of the Business and Entrepreneurship category. At Wells Fargo, we understand that business success is important for creating wealth within the Latino community. That's why Wells Fargo has consistently been one of the largest lenders to Latino small business owners. And it's why Wells Fargo is the number one bank helping Hispanic families purchase homes. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the bronze, the silver, and the gold Youth Award recipients. These are young people who are helping to build opportunity within our community. Now, let's learn a little bit more about each of these young, talented recipients. Hello, I am Brittany Salazar from Montebello, Alabama and go to Montebello High School. I hope to attend the University of Alabama at Birmingham and major in mathematics. I'm of Mexican descent and I'm bronze recipient for the business and entrepreneurship category. One of my proudest accomplishments in business and entrepreneurship is creating my own baking business. Hello, I'm Isaac Velez Gonzalez and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. I attend the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics and I hope to attend Harvard or Columbia University and plan on majoring in business. I'm of Colombian descent and am the silver recipient for the business and entrepreneurship category. One of my proudest accomplishments in business and entrepreneurship is starting my own company, a high-end apparel line made with sustainable fabrics to outfit the everyday hustlers. Hello, I'm Yaseni Gonzalez from Brandon, Mississippi, and I go to Northwest Rankin High School. I hope to attend either Rochester Institute of Technology or Mississippi State University and major in international business and French. I'm of Mexican descent and I'm the gold recipient of the business and entrepreneurship category. One of my biggest accomplishments in business and entrepreneurship has been when I placed second at DECA State competition in the buying and merchandising grid and event and going on to place in the top 30% at international competition. On behalf of all recipients, thank you Wells Fargo for sponsoring our category. I want to also thank the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for providing such an amazing opportunity for young students such as myself. Thank you. Hola a todos. My name is Juan Pablo Zamorano, President, Latin American Division, an executive sponsor of our Latinx Leadership Network at the Colgate Palmolive Company. Colgate has been a long-standing diversity partner of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, and we are proud to sponsor 
the Youth Award Program in the category of Excellence for Community Service. We strive to be a role model for global diversity, equity, and inclusion, with community being one of our foundational pillars. And we will continue to be an ally for positive change through programs like the Youth Awards. We believe that a higher education is a path to a brighter future, and we are fully committed to supporting Hispanic students like you. This is why I'm so excited and proud to introduce you to the bronze, silver, and gold Youth Award recipients in the community service category. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I am Berenice Diaz Acosta from Sarah City NC, and I go to John Mattis High School. I hope to attend NC State University and also UNC Chapel Hill and major in art. I am of Mexican descent and also the bronze recipient of the community service category. One of my greatest achievements in community service is giving back to my community. I have over 110 hours in community service, which is most of these hours goes to my local nonprofit organization, the Hispanic Liaison, for whom I also work with. Thank you. Hello, I am Valeria Gonzalez Bautista. I am from Hope Mills, North Carolina, and I go to Grace Creek High School. I hope to attend the University of Pennsylvania and major in business administration. I am a silver recipient of the community service category and one of my proudest accomplishments in community service has been helping over 100 students with my nonprofit, Hispanics United Society, where I help them navigate through the whole college application process um, and helping as much students as I can. And thank you all for this opportunity and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Hello, I'm Veronica Cifuentes from Charlotte, North Carolina. I go to Ardrick Hill High School and I hope to attend UNC Chapel Hill and major in chemistry. I'm of Colombian descent and I'm the gold recipient of the community service category. One of my proudest accomplishments in community service has been working with my club advisor to develop an honors leadership course for ESL students that is now offered at my school. On behalf of all the recipients, thank you Colgate Pomala for sponsoring this category. I want to also thank my parents for their love and support. And I would like to express my gratitude to Mrs. Wint and all those who make up the ESL program at Ardrick Hill. Thank you for the memories and the friendship. Hola, Hispanic Heritage Familia. I'm Laura Nieto, Director of Community Outreach at Southwest Airlines. We are proud to be the official airline partner of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. And for us, the Youth Awards are a time to celebrate, and we want to celebrate with you. What an incredible honor it is to win a Youth Award, and you should be so proud of all that you have accomplished. I know that everyone watching tonight is cheering you on and is extremely proud of all you have achieved and all you will achieve. A very special recognition and appreciation goes out to the many people who have helped you get here, whether it be your parents and your family, maybe your teachers and your coaches, mentors, and even your friends. At Southwest Airlines, we believe in championing causes that matter most in our communities and supporting fantastic organizations like the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. So thank you for your support of these outstanding students and for the positive impact you make on our communities worldwide. On behalf of the more than 58,000 employees of Southwest Airlines, congratulations to all the deserving winners in the education category and to all the winners in this year's competition. We can't wait to see what's next for you. Felicidades. Hello, I'm Isabel McCarthy from Matthews, North Carolina, and I attend Weddington High School. I hope to attend either North Carolina State University or Appalachian State University and major in biology. I'm of Chilean descent, and I'm the bronze recipient of the education category. One of my proudest accomplishments has been establishing a reading program with the help of my family. In this program, we help bilingual children with learning delays improve their reading comprehension and writing skills. In doing this, I now see how important the youth of America is to our future and will continue to push for the education of America's children. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Katherine Miller from Mandeville, Louisiana, and I go to Fountain Blue High School. I hope to attend Louisiana Tech University to major in Social Studies Secondary Education. I am of Honduran descent and I am the silver recipient in the education category. One of my proudest accomplishments in education has been interning in an eighth grade classroom through my school's senior intern program, where I've learned about the field of education and its responsibilities. Hello, I'm Annabella Guzman from Mooresville, North Carolina, and I go to Mooresville Senior High School. I hope to attend Vanderbilt University or the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill to major in human and organizational development. I am of Puerto Rican descent, and I am the gold recipient of the education category. Some of my proudest accomplishments in education include volunteering as a teacher assistant in elementary school classrooms since the age of 10, as well as tutoring local students in areas of phonological development and primary mathematics. I've also organized projects for teacher appreciation and support, and I had the wonderful opportunity to participate in an enriching educational experience with the North Carolina Governor's School West in the area of social sciences. On behalf of all the recipients, thank you Southwest Airlines for sponsoring our category. I would also like to thank my family, teachers, and school for always inspiring me and providing me with wonderful opportunities to engage myself in the educational realm. Whether it's a changing climate, a global pandemic, or a complex global logistics, we've seen how the world can change in an instant. But we Latinos are no strangers to persevering, and these young people we're honoring tonight are the vanguard of engineers who are facing these challenges head on and helping to guide all of us into a brighter future. So let's learn more about our bronze, silver, and gold recipients for the engineering category. Hi, I'm Alexander Soto from Springdale, Arkansas, and I go to Springdale High School. I hope to attend Stanford University or the University of Arkansas and major in bioengineering. I'm of Mexican descent and the bronze recipient of the engineering category. Some of my proudest achievements in engineering include taking a variety of Project Lead the Way classes offered by my school's engineering academy, serving as a Project Lead the Way mentor for students at my old middle school, and building a 3D printed prosthetic arm controlled by a MindWave headset in hopes of combating healthcare inequality. Thank you. Hello, I am Katherine Wood from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I go to Chattanooga Christian School. I hope to attend Georgia Tech and study mechanical engineering. I am from Puerto Rican descent, and I am the silver recipient of the engineering category. Some of my proudest accomplishments in engineering have been qualifying for state level robotics competitions three times, teaching a class for middle schoolers on the engineering design process at my school, as well as being selected as a Tennessee Governor's School Scholar for Computational Physics, where I studied computational physics at a local university for three weeks. Thank you. Hello, I am Caden Oakley White from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm a senior at Jesuit High School. I will be attending Columbia University, and I intend to double major in both astrophysics and engineering. I am of Honduran descent, and I am the gold recipient for the engineering category. One of my proudest achievements in engineering is my participation in the summer astronautics and robotics camps, which led to my NASA internship, where I learned Python. On behalf of all recipients, I would like to thank Hispanic Heritage Foundation for sponsoring the engineering category. And I would also like to thank my mom for her astronomical love and support. Hello to everyone and congratulations to the amazing young leaders who are being recognized today. Coca-Cola is a proud sponsor of the Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards and our award category of focus is green sustainability. As a global company, the health of the planet is a paramount priority for Coca-Cola everywhere in the world. Today's students will play a key role in developing solutions and transforming behaviors that enable communities of the future to flourish. So it is natural that improving access to higher education is a cornerstone of Coca-Cola's philanthropy. This will help us attract a strong pipeline of talent who want to be part of an enterprise that invests heavily in community-minded goals that young people share. Our partnership with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation is a critical component of this pipeline as we seek to build a diverse and energized 21st century workforce that reflects the communities we serve. And now, I am proud to introduce the recipients of the Bronze, Silver, and Gold Youth Awards. 
Let's learn more about these remarkable high achievers. Hello, I am Jacqueline Pozos and I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. I go to Charlotte Engineering Early College and I hope to attend NC State University or UNC Charlotte and major in electrical engineering with a concentration in energy and a minor in mathematics. I am from Mexican descent and I am a bronze recipient in the sustainability category. One of my proudest achievements in the sustainability category is my internship with the mayor's office in partnership with Siemens, where I got to study Charlotte's carbon footprint. And thank you for your time. Hello, I am holding a bow from Memphis, Tennessee, and I go to Crosstown High School. I hope to attend the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee or the University of Tennessee Chattanooga and major in environmental engineering. I am of Brazilian descent and I am the silver recipient of the sustainability category. One of my proudest accomplishments in sustainability has been maintaining my school's garden during virtual learning so that produce could be given to my community even during hard times like these. Thank you. Hello, I'm Emily Hernandez Urbina from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I go to South Franklinburg High School. I hope to attend the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and major in environmental health. I'm of Guatemalan descent and the gold recipient of the sustainability category. One of my proudest accomplishments in sustainability has been interning with a local nonprofit that works with schools to implement aquaponics programs. With my experience in aquaponics, I'm currently working on building my school's very first aquaponics program where students can learn how to grow sustainable food, including vegetables and fish. On behalf of all the recipients, thank you Coca-Cola for sponsoring our category. I also want to thank my family and my teachers throughout my high school years to have supported me. Hi, my name is Melissa Piovieck, and I'm a senior consultant for the CVS Health Workforce Initiatives team, and I've dedicated much of my life immersed in Latin American culture. I've learned firsthand how dedicated, hardworking, and resilient these individuals are. I've also spent many years working with young adults, being a guide on their pathway to success. It's my absolute honor and privilege to present you these three individuals that I know will bring so much talent, creativity, and life to our ever-changing workforce. CVS Health is proud to support the healthcare and science category of the Youth Awards because of the incredible commitment made by each of the recipients, which they've displayed in their classroom and in their community. Such passion aligns wonderfully with the purpose of our organization, bringing our heart to every moment of your health. I'm proud to introduce the bronze, silver, and gold Youth Award recipients. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I'm Lucila Morales from Low Arkansas and I go to Don Tyson School of Innovation. I hope to attend Northwest Arkansas Community College and the University of Arkansas in major medical laboratory science. I'm a Mexican descent. I'm the bronze recipient of the healthcare and science category. One of the proudest accomplishments of the healthcare and science has been completing 96 hours towards my certification as a certified nurse assistant through Northwest Arkansas Community College. I am currently taking an internship with the Maple Star Harbor Medals as a certified nurse assistant. I've also completed all medical classes in my high school, earning a graduation core for completing all medical classes. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rachel Oldemiji. I'm from Goose Creek, South Carolina, and I attend Stratford High School. I hope to attend Harvard University and major in psychology. I am of Venezuelan descent, and I am the silver recipient of the healthcare and science category. One of my proudest accomplishments in healthcare and science has been volunteering at the Charleston Veteran Affairs Hospital. There I have the ability to serve the veterans who are sacrificed so much for our country. Thank you. Hello, I am Levi Cruz from Clinton, North Carolina, and I go to the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. I plan on attending Yale University and will major in biology. I'm of Mexican descent, and I am the gold recipient of the healthcare and science category. One of my proudest accomplishments in healthcare and science has been completing independent research on Venerian regeneration and being selected as a Regeneron Science Talent Search Scholar. I'm also proud of being able to give back to my community as a volunteer for the Global Medical Outreach Organization. On behalf of all recipients, thank you CVS Health for sponsoring our category. I want to also thank my parents for their guidance, my church community for their support, and also the NTSSM faculty for their guidance as well. Thank you. 
I'm Daniel Tapia, Manager of Corporate and External Affairs at NBC Universal Telemundo Enterprises. On behalf of Comcast, NBC Universal, and Telemundo, we are proud to sponsor the media and entertainment category of the 23rd Annual Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards. As a world-class media company leading the industry in the production and distribution of high-quality Spanish language content to U.S. Hispanics, we believe in empowering the next generation of Latino leaders and storytellers. Through our award-winning Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative, El Poder en Ti, we enable our community to take positive actions in critical areas of personal growth, including health, finance, civic engagement, and of course, education. As media and entertainment continue to evolve, you will all play an instrumental role in the future of our industry. It is my honor to introduce this year's bronze, silver, and gold youth award recipients. I want to congratulate you all on your achievements and wish you the best as you continue on this exciting journey. Hi, my name is Gabriela Rodriguez LeBron and I'm from Cary, North Carolina. I am currently at Cary High School, but in the fall I hope to attend the University of North Carolina at Charlotte with a major in communications. I'm of Puerto Rican descent and I'm a bronze recipient in the media and entertainment category. So one of my proudest accomplishments in this category has been being chosen as a section leader for my high school's concert chorus. This has really been an amazing experience working with younger kids and getting them more involved in the arts programs such as chorus, drama, and musical theater. I am so grateful that I had this chance to work with young people and really bring them more into the entertainment field. Thank you. Hi, my name is Madison Cuevas. I'm from Franklin, Tennessee and go to Centennial High School. I hope to attend the University of Iowa and study music. I'm of Filipino descent and am the silver recipient of the media and entertainment category. Two of my biggest accomplishments in media and entertainment have been being selected to go to the inaugural class of a Broadway educational workshop in New York and getting to play my dream role of Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Carmen Elcocer and I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. I go to Bearden High School and hope to attend Cooper Union next year to study visual arts. I am of Mexican descent and am the gold recipient of the media and entertainment category. One of my proudest accomplishments in media and entertainment to date was being selected as the anchor for my school's weekly news broadcast. Being able to help my peers every week stay up to date on what's happening in our community was such a gratifying experience. On behalf of all the recipients, thank you to Comcast, NBC, Universal, and Telemundo for sponsoring our category. Lastly, I'd like to thank my parents, Janine and Rudyard Elcocer, and my journalism teacher, Tim Bosick. We want to take a moment to thank all of our generous sponsors that made tonight's celebration possible. Coca-Cola, Colgate Palmolive, Comcast, NBC, Universal, Telemundo, CVS Health, the NFL, Nike, Southwest Airlines, T-Mobile, and Wells Fargo. We also want to thank our year-round partners who believe in you just as much as we do. American Federation of Teachers, Capital Wire, Crow Mooring, Es Tiempo, Freddie Mac, and Teach for America. Thank you again to all of our sponsors and partners. Now, to present the public service and social justice category, please welcome President of Nike Foundation, Jorge Casamiro. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Jorge Casimiro, and I'm Nike's Chief Public Policy and Social Impact Officer, and I also get to serve as President of the Nike Foundation. You know, across Nike, Converse, and Jordan, we're all proud supporters of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for the incredible work that you do every single day to inspire, educate, and connect Latina and Latino leaders in the classroom in our communities and beyond. We believe in the power of people, the power of people to move the world forward and to break barriers in the areas where we need change the most. And as the world becomes increasingly more diverse, we're working to help make a world that is far more equitable and inclusive, a place where we can celebrate our diverse communities. We're honored to sponsor the social justice category of this year's Youth Awards, and we stand in awe of all that this year's honorees are doing to drive social justice in their schools and in their communities.
Thank you to everyone recognized this evening for helping to make important changes and to the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for educating and lifting up today's, not just social justice leaders, but today's leaders. And now I'm honored to also introduce the bronze, silver, and gold Youth Award recipients. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I'm Andrea Chavez from Graham, North Carolina, and I go to Graham High School. I hope to attend Elon University or UNC Chapel Hill and major in political science. I'm of Mexican descent and I am the bronze recipient of the public service and social justice category. One of my proudest accomplishments in public service and social justice has been becoming a member of the organization called Mi Gente, where I went door knocking to inform Latinx eligible voters about the importance of voting, explained to them how to vote, and gave them information on both local and national candidates. Thank you. Hello, I am Nancy Garcia Villa from Dobson, North Carolina, and I go to Surrey Early College High School. I hope to attend UNC Chapel Hill and major in political science. I am of Mexican descent, and I am the silver recipient for the public service and social justice category. One of my proudest accomplishments in public service and social justice has been being appointed as a member at large on the North Carolina Governor's Advisory Council for Hispanic and Latino Affairs, which will give me an even bigger platform to advocate for equitable access to resources for success for my community. Thank you, muchas gracias. Hello, I'm Isaac Carreño from Goldsboro, North Carolina, and I go to Wayne School of Engineering. I hope to attend North Carolina State University or the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and major in political science. I am of Mexican descent and I am the gold recipient for the public service and social justice category. One of my proudest accomplishments in public service and social justice has been working with recently arrived migrant students as they transition into the public school system. I want to make sure that the students have an equal opportunity to succeed, achieve, and maximize their potential despite the disparities that they may face. On behalf of all recipients, I want to thank Nike for sponsoring our category. I also would like to thank my parents, Daniel and Isabel Carreño, for working hard, inspiring me, and wanting to seek a better life for their children. Thank you. Hello, I am Adrian Archer from Pinehurst, North Carolina, and I go to Pinecrest High School. I am planning on attending Johns Hopkins University and majoring in both computer science and applied math and statistics. I am of Colombian descent and I am the bronze recipient of the sports and fitness category. One of my proudest accomplishments in sports and fitness has been both breaking the nine minute and 30 second barrier in the two mile and qualifying for the state cross country meet this fall. Thank you. Hello, I'm Isabel Santana from Raleigh, North Carolina and I go to Roseville High School. I hope to attend NC State or UNC Chapel Hill and major in computer science. I am of Puerto Rican descent and I am the silver recipient of the sports and fitness category. I've played tennis since I was five and have played all throughout high school on Roosevelt High School's women's varsity tennis team. This year, I was ranked the number one singles and doubles player on the team and was elected team captain by my teammates. It's been so much fun leading such an amazing team. Thank you. Hi, I'm Adrian Thompson from Fort Mill, South Carolina, and I go to Charlotte Country Day School. I will be attending the University of Mary Washington and major in pre-law as I aim to become a sports attorney. I am of Puerto Rican descent and I am the gold recipient of the sports and fitness category. One of my biggest accomplishments in sports and fitness has been playing soccer for the past 14 years, which has paid off as my team and I have attended and won regionals multiple times along with attending nationals. I have also committed to play soccer at the University of Mary Washington. On behalf of all recipients, thank you to the NFL for sponsoring our category. I would also like to thank my family, friends, coaches, and teachers for helping me get to where I am today. And now to present our final category, the technology category, please welcome Senior Manager of Government and External Affairs for T-Mobile, Joanna V.S. Sofer. 
Hello, I'm Joanna Diasofer, Senior Manager of Government and External Affairs. T-Mobile is proud to support the Foundation's efforts to honor Latino high school seniors who are excelling in the classroom and the community. Tech is often referred to as the great equalizer because of what we can do with a click of a mouse or a swipe of a finger. As an industry, it's growing exponentially. But as it does, we must ensure opportunities are accessible to everyone. Over the past year, T-Mobile has committed to promoting more diverse business practices, including making historic commitments to diverse hiring through all levels of the company. We also understand the importance of investing in our communities and providing resources for empowerment and have pledged $25 million for community initiatives that support technology, education, and workforce training. You are our future inventors, engineers, startup founders, and CEOs, and we believe your future is bright. Congratulations to all the gold, silver, and bronze technology award recipients. Thank you, Antonio Tijerino and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for the opportunity to participate in today's event. Hello, my name is Marvin De La Cruz Serrano, and I'm from Russellville, Alabama, and I attend Russellville High School. Um, I plan on attending the University of North Alabama and majoring in information technology. I am of Mexican descent, and I am the bronze recipient in the technology category. Um, some accomplishments that I'm really proud of is um, getting a test out security pro certification and going and teaching um, at the elementary school for computer science week, uh, teaching the fourth graders how to code with scratch. Hello, my name is Isabella Galito from Conway, South Carolina. I currently go to Scholars Academy, but will be attending Cornell University, pursuing a Bachelor of Architecture in the fall. I am the silver recipient of the technology category. My proudest achievement in technology has been creating an integrated art club at my school. This has allowed me to express my passion for personal creation and has allowed me to see the true impact that I can have on those around me. Thank you. Hello, I am Felipe Garcia Cruz from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I go to Harding University High School. I hope to attend UNC Chapel Hill or UNC Charlotte and major in computer science. I'm of Mexican descent and I'm the gold recipient of the technology category. One of my proudest accomplishments in technology has been creating a playable program with a group of my friends to present to my peers to show what we all made of our coding abilities and a small project that we had done. On behalf of all the recipients, thank you T-Mobile for sponsoring our category. I want to also thank my parents for always supporting me and my endeavors, as well as my coding teacher for having introduced me to the field of technology and coding when I never knew about it before. Once again, a huge congratulations to all of tonight's recipients and another big thank you to all of the sponsors that made tonight possible. Students, you should feel so proud of your accomplishments. You are now officially part of the HHF's leadership cycle and through the Latinx on the Fast Track program, you can help us change the American workforce. That's pretty awesome. So keep up with everything happening in the Hispanic Heritage Foundation by following us on social media and by visiting www.hispanicheritage.org. And if you want, you can follow me at Jillian Mercado on Instagram as well. Congratulations again to you, your families, teachers, and friends who share in your honor tonight. And welcome to Hispanic Heritage Foundation Familia.